We've got the inventory. The inventory, we can track different ways. We're, we're tracking it with a perpetual system within the QuickBooks system, kind of the more sophisticated way to be tracking inventory, but it takes a little bit more setup process to do. In the inventory account, we would expect we have these starting amounts. This is when we set up the inventory balance to, to just start out with. We're gonna buy the inventory with checks or with uh, bills or with expense forms. And then we're gonna sell the inventory with invoices and sales receipts. So that's what you would expect to see in the inventory account. It goes up when we buy it, we buy stuff with check forms, expense forms, or bill forms. And then we sell the inventory with invoices and sales receipts. It's gonna go back down. And then we might have inventory adjustments that need to happen periodically to tie out the inventory to the physical count. Remember that the inventory also has a sub ledger breaking the inventory out by units if you're tracking it on a perpetual inventory system. 